Hello puppies. So we build a PC and now and now what? Well, now we're going to overclock the shit out of it. All right. So first thing we are going to do is we are going to set some some benchmarks. Let's go on eat in here. First thing we're going to do a Cinebench Let's run our CPU mark. Alright, the CPU mark is running. It doesn't look it doesn't look too bad. It's a four core, so we see all the four cores rendering this high quality image. Alright, so we got our score. Now let's overclock it. Let's go. First thing we gotta do when we overclock a PC is shut it off. All right, here we go. Let's turn this guy back on. Let's wait right here for a signal. And let's play, let's press delete. There we go, as soon as we see the thing. And we are in the BIOS, there we go. Now, what we wanna do is, probably the first time you enter the BIOS, you're gonna be in this mode, which is easy mode. You're gonna go up here advanced mode so press F7 on your keyboard and you're gonna get yourself in advanced mode this is really important now go in on overclocking settings on this particular motherboard and here you have the whole thing so what we can care about in this overclocking guys is CPU ratio there we go and down the CPU voltage core. There we go, the V core. This guy right here. Those two are the important ones in this guide. So, first thing I would do is save this as a profile. So, go on the side, go on overclocking profile. As you can see, I have two already. Go on the first one and save it. I already saved it, so I don't need to. Second thing to do is start overclocking so the easiest way to do it is we're defining the cpu ratio the cpu ratio times 100 which is this number right here you can change it but we're not going to change it in this guide we are just going to change the cpu ratio cpu ratio and i set to auto so go on it and set the number you want i want out 46 as you can see it's 46 enter it tells me that I mod modified it. Now we're, at, we're running a 46. Now, the voltage of the, the voltage going to the CPU is not gonna be enough. So we're gonna change that also. We're gonna go right here, auto, it says auto. And from my calculation on this motherboard and from what I did already, cause I already experimented a bit, one point, 32 should be enough. So as you can see here, we have 1.32. Here we go. And let's, now let's quit. And it says what we did in here, and let's say yes. That's what we want. So, the thing is gonna load. We're gonna be in here, and hold on. Windows and the whole thing is coming in. All right, let's log in. All right, so first thing we are going to notice when we get in is that the CPU is much hotter. So let's check this out. Let's go on our CPU ID hardware monitor. We are going to notice that the CPU core, now it's stable at about 41 actually 42 or 45 degrees at idle so no workload before it was about maybe 28 so we have a 10 degrees bump that is quite a lot now let's bench this guy let's run the CPU benchmark all right we see all the four cores it looks like it looks faster to me I'm gonna say it looks pretty much it's like a bit faster 
Now we have, well, now we, we'll just have to wait. I'm expecting a 200 uh, seven points uh, bump-ish, so it's going to be pretty good. So from what I see in my uh, system, there is an analogic uh, temp temperature display on my motherboard and it says that is at 54, 55 degrees. Um, and, and this is under 100% workload. This guy, right now, my system is 100% workload CPU wise. So, over, overclocking is a pretty nice touch. Why? Overclocking is a pretty nice thing to do. Why? Because on models like mine, the 6600K, we are going to get some free performance. We are going to get some more performance per each dollar we spend. So, it is really nice, you know. And here we are about to wrap it up it looks like it's getting oh uh, there are a couple of parts that looks like it was lower look like it was lower but right now it's going much faster I don't know I'm gonna speed the whole thing up while when I upload it because this is a long project it took like a minute and something alright it's done alright now that we have our score Let's do a stability test to see everything is running smoothly. So we are going to run this for about 10 minutes, okay? So bear with me. The temperature right now are quickly rising, I would say. So we are about 50 degrees. I don't know, it's not stable yet, so we'll see. Uh, so 120, 130 Fahrenheit and 50 Celsius, definitely rising. All right, let's, let's see what's going to happen. See you in a bit. find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you're the right girl so i can only say that it feels right it feels right it feels right yeah i can only say that it feels right, it feels right. It feels we have about five seconds left ish there you go five seconds right now and it looks pretty good all right 10 minutes let's stop it cpu goes down temperatures go down this was a pretty successful test. So everything, everything, everything was good. No blue screens, no nothing. This is a successful overclock. All right, so I guess this concludes my CPU overclocking video. I'm gonna do a uh, GPU overclocking video later on and maybe when I get a decent monitor because this one is actually a TV that I stole from my sister I'm gonna do a monitor overclocking video yeah really nice and I actually want to do also a, a GPU review where I'm gonna show stuff like when the fans kick in and all that kind of stuff so pretty cool I guess We'll see. Right, for now, thank you for watching, and see you next time.